You felt uncomfortable that I was recording the walls? I feel uncomfortable. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't help that at all. Sir, I feel uncomfortable. If you guys are not going to do that, what's your sergeant's name? You can call. Okay. Give me his number. I, I don't feel safe. I'm going to call the postal inspector. Call the postal inspector. He'll educate you, too. Right. You're trying to have me arrested for nothing. Well, here's Max. I'm not agreeing with you. I don't have to be recorded. Okay. Ma'am, he's a law enforcement officer. Please he's, don't he's, me. he's not a feelings enforcement officer. Yeah. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the United States Post Office here in Akron, Ohio. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. Activity in this lobby may be monitored or recorded for operational or security purposes. So the government is allowed to have security against us, but the minute that we want some security and accountability, transparency, that becomes an issue. His taxpayers do not pay for this you bill. Need to get Sir, I feel uncomfortable. If you guys are not going to do nothing, what's your sergeant's name? You can call. Okay. Give me his number. What's his name? Tell you guys, number you guys can call. So you can you call. And you sound very unprofessional. I don't have to be recorded. No, here's Max. I'm not agreeing with you. I don't have to be recorded. Okay. Ma'am, he's a law enforcement officer. Yeah. Please he's, don't he's, to he's not a feelings enforcement officer, ma'am. I don't want him talking to me. I don't want to be recorded. So basically, you're telling him he can do whatever he wants. No, he says I can't break the law. He's making me feel uncomfortable. Well, he's making me feel uncomfortable. And me too. I absolutely do that. Well, but she's not breaking the law. He he's is. law enforcement. No, I'm not. Yes, he is. He's not. Hey, hey sir, can I just get your name and badge number, please? Yep. This is the fourth time. I know. I don't know. I don't think it was him last time I was here, but I'm not here for this purpose. It's the First Amendment, ma'am. Freedom of press. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to educate. I'm just trying to educate you, ma'am. That's all, sir. Would you mind if I get that name back? Yeah, sure. Well, so far this officer is doing really well. She wants this officer to enforce her feelings, but he's a law enforcement officer, not a feelings enforcement officer. It's freedom of speech. This is America. This is America. You were talking about me. You're trying to have me arrested for nothing. Completely insane. That's true. There's no reason for you to be mad that he's enforcing the law. I'm not breaking the law. You're going to tell her not to say anything, but then you're going to run your mouth? Come on. Call the postal inspector. He'll educate you too. Just like this officer is trying to, because you don't, he, you don't like what he's saying. You're going to treat him disrespectfully. That's not right. There's, yeah, there's no. Akron Police Department is doing the right thing. Uh, 
What what is what does freedom of speech have to do with being recorded, man? What does that have to do with freedom of speech? It is not against the law. <laughs> You see? Look. He doesn't want to do what she wants him to do, so she's going to treat him disrespectfully. I don't I don't agree with that. What is your purpose? I'm an I'm 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 an independent journalist. I'm just working on a story on the post office, that's all. I'm working on a story here. I'm an independent journalist. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Correct. I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am, I'm working on a story. That's correct. On the post office. I'm, oh, yeah, it's for it's for possible publication. Possible publication. I don't know if I'm going to publicize it or, or what the story is going to end up being, but I'm just working, gathering content, ma'am. That's what I'm doing here. That's it. Not, nothing nefarious, nothing illegal. By walking... Ma'am, before the police officer got here, I was walking around filming the... You you felt comfortable that I was recording the walls? You felt No, but you felt uncomfortable that I was recording the walls? Oh, okay. I mean, I can't help that at all. I mean, where was I when the police officer got here? Nowhere near you, right? <laughs> yeah, I was recording. I didn't record you. Okay. I was just trying to be forthcoming. Here's your card. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Akron Police Department, Officer Sams, 1322. Just doing a great job so far. I can't believe that he has to deal with that rude public servant that's working here. There's no reason for her to treat him that way. Just because he's not, he's not enforcing her feelings and her ignorance of the law, and she's going to get mad at him. Unbelievable. It's like he's damned if he do, does, damned if he doesn't. He's doing the right thing and he still has to deal with a bunch of BS. So the officer came inside. I missed the front end of the conversation. He came inside, there's his car right out here, Akron Police Department. So he came inside while I was just walking around recording nobody in particular and they still wanted to throw a fit about I'm making them uncomfortable recording the walls. Now that they made a big deal about it, yeah, I'm recording you. You're part of the story. You made yourself part of the story. She said she was going to call the postal inspectors. I hope she does so she can get some sort of education today on the laws and our rights. He's not breaking the law. He said making people feel uncomfortable is not against the law. Finally, an officer that gets it. Finally. Hey, officer, just real quick. Um, I just want to uh, thank you for doing the right thing and upholding your oath to the Constitution and sure. not, not enforcing feelings. I get people are going to feel some kind of way, and I can understand that, but I wasn't. Where was I when you came here? Over here somewhere. Yeah, nowhere near people, right? So I wasn't. I started recording once you got here, so it wasn't. Not impeding people from coming and going or making threats. Yeah. No, rights. but I, I do. I truly, pre I do appreciate you. You doing yeah. the right thing, and I'm sorry you had to deal with that oh, nasty sorry. woman. <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. She didn't. She didn't like you too much. That's the walk of honor, not the walk of shame. That's the walk of honor. He did the right thing here today, and that's what we love to see. Officer Sam's did the right thing. The ironic part is I don't even remember. Um, hey, sir. Right. You want me to smile? Nah, this one. You got me. I got you. Oh, okay. Tip for tat. Got it. No problem. I don't. I don't mind people taking my picture. There's cameras everywhere.
All right, let's get ourselves a stamp before we get out of here. Hi, right, can I just get one stamp, please? Sixty cents. Here you are. Thank you. Out of seventy-five. Here you are. Thank you. And here's your receipt. So then at the bottom, you have a great day. I'll definitely take it. Thank you. Hi, ma'am. Thank you for your patience. I have you. So the reason why you buy a stamp is so you get a survey, so you can give feedback, because they don't care. They don't, absolutely don't care. I could have gave you a stamp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Thank you for your kindness. You too, you too ma'am. You have a wonderful day. <laughs> she was very nice. Alright guys, so we're going to be getting out of here now. Alright guys, so we're just getting out of the United States Post Office here in Akron, Ohio. Wow, so that was an interesting audit. Because even though I wasn't filming anybody in particular, I was just walking around the post office, looking at Poster 7, the rules and regulations, you know, different signage that they have. They still called the police on me. And when law enforcement arrived from the Ak Akron Police Department, I didn't even see them walk in the door because I was in another part of the post office where nobody was. But when I finally found him, you know, this postal supervisor, she was completely nasty, treating him with such disrespect that, you know, I don't appreciate that either. There's no reason to treat anybody with disrespect. He's doing his job. He can't enforce your feelings. He needs to enforce the law and uphold the United States Constitution. And I commend Officer Sams for doing that here today. You know, no matter his opinion about what I'm doing or not is irrelevant. He upheld his oath to the Constitution. He did his job here today. And for doing his job, he had to deal with a nasty woman who did not know the law, tried to say that the officer didn't know the law, that it was illegal to record in the post office. But, you know, that's just how things go. That's, you know, like he said, that's part of his job. And I commend him for that. And I commend him for doing the right thing here in you know, Akron, Ohio, they're doing the right thing here. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.